Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Bushes on the Trail. I'm Al, and this time Christy and I will be in Northeast Kentucky at Greenbow Lake State Park taking on the Michael Tiger Trail. Now it's a seven and a half to eight mile loop trail that skirts Greenbow Lake, goes into the woods and comes back out near the marina after a little road walk. But it's a really a fantastic trail, especially for new hikers who want to extend their legs a little bit, get those longer miles, and for experienced hikers who are just trying to, to get a good walk in the woods or trying to test out some equipment to make sure that it works for them before they hit some harder trails. Also, Christy and I will be staying at the Greenbow Lake State Park Primitive Campground. You'll get to see sights from there, and also some wildlife along the way on our hike. So hope you stick around. Here Christy and I go hiking the Michael Tigerts Trail at Greenbow Lake State Park. It is roughly seven and a half to almost eight miles worth of trail. And we did the sort of shortened version. You can start from the actual lodge at Greenbow Lake State Park and then hike it, which makes it a little longer trail. As you can see, it goes along Greenbow Lake. Instead, we decided to follow the Yellow Blazes for about 7.5 to 7.8 miles or so. A counterclockwise so we modify the trail typically on all trails the trail will take you clockwise from the lodge up past the cemetery then through a shelter and then back over down through a road and down a ridge along the lake and back to the marina we started at the marina and went counterclockwise pretty decent way to hike this trail as you can see it's right along the lake and there are certain places that uh, get a little steep but overall it's a pretty easy trail to hike And the good thing about getting up early and hiking in the morning on these trails, you see wildlife. And it wasn't long into our hike, we saw these two deer, um, Doe and her fawn. And yes, those are real. They're not fake. They will move. Come on, move. Don't turn me into a liar. You're real. Move. Okay, they didn't want to move at this point, but they are real. You'll see them later on in the video. It's pretty cool. Once they saw us, they froze. They didn't move at all. And eventually, once we took the camera off, you know, like everybody else, they weren't camera shy anymore and they took off running. So be it. Then about a quarter mile down the trail, there's movement up in the woods north of us along the hillside and look two more deer probably the same two that eventually ran away from us earlier but again hey this time they're moving see i told you they were real The Michael Tigerts Trail, Greenbelt Lake State Park, is a really good trail 
for those who are just getting into hiking, especially if you want to extend your miles along the way. There are some pretty good lake views as you see here. There's some interesting rock formations as you'll see in just a moment. You'll pass. The path is relatively smooth for a path. I mean, yes, you have some rocks like you see here, some tree roots you have to watch out for, and some moderate inclines up and down early. But you really don't get into anything steep until you get about three and a half to four miles in. Then you have a fairly steep climb. Other than that, it's normal ups and downs and a fantastic place to hike for those who are just getting into hiking and want to extend those miles a little bit. And as far as the wildlife count so far, we've seen two deer twice and a look like a thousand tadpoles. As you can see, strolling along the trail, it is lush, it is green, wide open. You can see deep into the forest in certain areas. And as you come on to certain water crossings, especially this one, some things to take note are the trail changes. To the right is a red blaze, which is, I believe, a horse trail and some bike trails. To the left is the actual hiking trail. So you want to make sure that you follow along the creek and go up the yellow blazed hiking trail. If you follow the yellow blazes, you will be able to find your way through the entire trail right here is the boy scouts of america campground and that is also along the yellow blaze trail you can go in and check that out at the moment unfortunately it was a little overgrown probably because of covid they haven't had anybody staying there so quite unfortunate but still a pretty neat thing to see As Christy and I were walking through this portion of the forest, I told her this is one of the reasons I really like hiking. It's the isolation. It's being away from all the chaos in the world and all of the, the hate and all and everything that's going on that just is a distraction. This is where you can find yourself. I mean, yes, hiking, seeing the views are great. Seeing the wildlife is great. But being away from all of the crap that goes on in regular life, you can't beat it. And don't worry if you are the caboose in the actual train of people walking along the trail. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be the first one to see some wildlife. Coming up here, Christy actually spots a frog passing between she and I along the trail. To the left of this actual log, you'll see a tiny frog. And it just added to the number of animals we saw during our actual hike at Greenbow Lake State Park. And after that, we looked at each other and said, wow, what a fantastic zoo. Yes, we know it's not a zoo. Uh, that's an inside joke that Christy and I had when we first went to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We were actually told to go to Cades Cove because you'll see a ton of animals. It's, it's a great place to go if you want to see bear, you want to see deer, you want to see elk, you want to see you know all, all the wildlife out in the Smoky Mountains. We went and took the trek to the Cades Cove entrance, waited in line, drove around the cove it took us about four hours we saw two deer and two turkeys and i looked at christy and said this zoo sucks i could have saw this in ohio and we got a laugh out of it so from that point on anytime we were out in the woods and we see a lot of wildlife we say hey what a great zoo Going counterclockwise around the lake from the marina, you hit the steep portion of the trail and you see a bench where you can sit down the steep portion. It gains about 250 to 300 feet in elevation in less than a mile. So it's pretty steep. You'll then go down the trail a little ways after it levels off and you'll hit this gravel road, which will continue on to a paved road, which you see here, for about another uh, four tenths of a mile or so. Then you actually veer off to the left and get back onto the trail, which will start to take you back through the forest, back towards the lodge and the marina. 
Now, once you enter back into the forest, you will have about four miles, four and a half miles back to the lodge or about three to three and a half miles back to the marina. Just follow the yellow blazes and you will make your way there uh, along this path. It is a little easier portion of the path, but it is deep in the woods. So there are not going to be a ton of views along the way. If there are not a lot of pretty majestic views or lakeside views to look at, what do you do? Well, you play with the slow motion video as you're walking, just so you can get a decent idea of how deep and green the forest is. Again, it's really wide open in this portion of the trail, and you can hear everything move out there. It's really peaceful. Now you may be wondering, you know, I've seen a lot of trail and not a lot of places to take a break. What's the deal? Well, there are places to take a break along the trail. At the top of the major hill that we showed earlier, right before the road area, there are three benches where you can stop, take a break, take a load off, have a snack. Christy and I have done that before. Also, at the end of this portion of the path on the back end of the trail, there's a shelter about five and a half, six miles in where you can stop and take a load off. And shortly after we leave the shelter, what do we see? This little guy right in the middle of the trail. <laughs> what a great zoo this is turning out to be. And here we are wrapping up the forest version of the trail as we mm -hmm. uh, will end up meeting a road here at the end of the trail, at the bottom of the trail as we pass past the cemetery on the right. And the road that you're gonna see here shortly will take us back to the marina. We'll follow that all the way back to our car in the marina area. And then we will obviously get in our car, pack up our stuff and head over to the campground where Christy and I will be spending the night in the primitive campsite at Greenbow Lake State Park. And here is our camping setup. There. Tent. Big Agnes 3 Ultralight. And not bad. Nice little area. Pretty much got it to ourselves. And after about nine, eight, the nine miles of hiking it's time to sit down and relax uh, we couldn't ask for a better day it is about oh goodness 68 degrees sunny a fire going in the fire pit here at greenbow lake state park in kentucky and hopefully the rest of the evening goes half as good as what the first part of the day is done it'll be a good day all right now it's time to cook our meals and we are having sweet and sour grilled chicken delicious all right well it's about eight o'clock and a fire is going pretty good right now we do say so ourselves it's about 60 degrees and it's been a pretty good day so far, there's Very Christy. Good day. Mm -hmm. So we will see how the night goes. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. And uh, our tent back there hopefully keeps us fairly warm anyway. Our, uh, after a long, exhausting, but yet fun day, the fire starts to die down. It's time for Christy and I to hit the hay. All right, we are inside the tent and it is time to go to sleep. It's good probably, night. good night, it's probably what, 50 degrees? outside a little dewy so uh hopefully we stay warm and don't freeze to death good night okay we are back and it is morning 44 degrees it's a little chilly but uh got some coffee brewing biscuits and gravy for breakfast and then they'll be packing up and time to head home it's been fun though well, if it looks like I am well over prepared for an eight mile day hike, you are absolutely right. Uh, this isn't something I would typically take on the Michael Tiger Trail. We were actually trying out a new backpack I have for some section hiking, some backcountry uh, camping and hiking when we go on longer hikes where we have to camp out in the backcountry. Um, we took it on this trail because it's a good trail to test out that type of equipment. Not only can we see 
pretty cool wildlife like this, but also the trail winds around the, the lake. It's fairly flat, fairly smooth. We get a pretty good idea early if the pack's gonna fit. And then we start hitting some rocks and a few uh, branches and a couple trees that were down, I had to climb over. And then a couple of decently steep inclines and descents. So I get the feel of how the pack's gonna feel on my legs, my knees, and my back. So this is a great place to actually test out equipment for longer style hikes. The reason I say this is the perfect trail for testing out equipment is because if your equipment that you're testing out doesn't work for you on this trail, that's relatively moderate and, and easy to, to do, then I can almost guarantee on a harder trail, it's more rugged, with steeper inclines, steeper descents, and longer distances, the equipment probably won't work on those trails if you can't get it to work on this one. Early in the video, I talked about a spot at the top of the main hill where you could stop and have a snack. Well, this is it. There were three benches there. It's flat. It's a great place to stop after you've climbed that, that steep hill. You're not quite halfway through, but it's a fantastic place to take a load off, get a drink, a snack before you go on the next four and a half miles or so of your adventure. The Michael Tiger Loop is named after an early Kentucky explorer from the 18th century. Michael Tiger was a contemporary of Simon Kenton and other explorers of his day. I mean, Tiger Creek that runs about 88 miles from southwestern Carter County and ends in the Ohio River in South Shore, Kentucky is named after him as well. But in an ironic twist, it's said that uh, Michael Tiger drowned near the mouth of the creek that actually bore his name because he was thrown from his horse and he couldn't swim. If you're in Northeast Kentucky and looking for some outdoor adventure, Greenbow Lake State Park is a great place to check out. There's some awesome camping areas. The trails aren't too difficult to hike. And there's also a lake if you enjoy fishing. So there's plenty to do for you and the family. So check it out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. It really helps people find us on YouTube. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. And hit the subscribe button, that way you don't miss any other adventures right here on Bushes on the Trail.